In this problem, we're told an object moving with uniform acceleration has a velocity of 12 cm per second in the positive x direction when its x coordinate is 3 cm. If the x coordinate 2 seconds later is minus 5 cm, what is its acceleration? So I went ahead and drew what was going on here. So let's just explain it, right? So let's think about it. So we have this object. I drew a box. It can be anything. And we have this number line, right? And so we know at 3 cm, right, in the positive direction, so here, right, it's going to be traveling 12 cm to the right. So I just drew that, right? 12, uh, 12 cm to the right. And then two seconds later, so two seconds passes, and then we know the object is going to be here at minus five, right? We don't know how fast it's going to be traveling here, but all we know is that uh, in two seconds it's going to be here, right? So that's just an understanding of what's going on. So we know it's going to travel this direction, and we're going to try and solve for acceleration, okay? So keep in mind that's what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for A, acceleration. So how do we solve these problems? So we go about solving these problems using uh, kinematic equations, which are equations that we use uh, to solve things that have constant acceleration, right? So they deal with motion, and these are what we're going to use. So these right here are the kinematic equations, okay? And so in kinematic equations, there's five different variables uh, that exist in the equations, right? So the first step, whenever you solve a problem like these involving them, you always want to write down all the variables uh, in the equation and see whether or not you're given them, okay? So let's just go ahead and do that. So I always write down given, and then let's write down the uh, variables. So one of the variables is delta x, one is v sub zero, one is v, one is a, and then the final one is t. So I'll explain to you what each of these variables are. So what is delta x? Delta x is essentially your change in your position, okay? So let's think about this problem and whether or not we're given it, okay? So we know the change in position, right? So in the beginning, it's here at three uh, centimeters, right? And it's traveling 12 centimeters per second. Then it goes this way, right? And it goes and it's at minus five. So what is its change in position? Well, if it's at three right here, right? It's at three and it goes to minus five. It's it's changing eight centimeters, right? But since it's going in the left, right? It's going left. It's changing delta x is minus eight centimeters, right? Because we're going to the left eight centimeters because three plus five is eight. So we're changing eight centimeters. So that's delta x. Now v sub zero is essentially your initial velocity or the initial speed you're traveling at, okay? So think about this problem. Our box in the beginning, right? When it's right here, what's its initial speed? Well, they tell us it's going 12 centimeters per second in the positive direction. So its initial speed is just 12 centimeters per second, right? And since it's going in the positive direction, we label it positive. So 12 centimeters per second. What about v? So v is gonna be its velocity at the end of this interval or this time period we set. So essentially, if this is its initial velocity and then it travels and then this is its end, we're gonna set this as its end. What is its velocity here? So we actually don't know this, right? So we don't know its velocity here because they don't tell us. So we just, uh, we're just we just going to say question mark because we actually don't know what it is. Okay, what about A? So acceleration during this time is exactly what they're asking us for, right? So we don't know that either. So we're just going to say question mark because we don't know that and that's what we're trying to solve for. What about T? So T is just time, right? How much time passes during this interval? So in this interval, we're told it starts here and then two seconds pass by and now it's here. So the time that passes is two seconds. Right, and so now we have every single one of these variables, okay? We have delta x, we have v sub zero, or we know we, we wrote them out, but we don't have all of them. So think about what we have. We have delta x, we have v sub zero, we have t. And so what we're trying to do is go ahead and solve for uh, a. We don't, we're not solving for v, right? Because we don't even have it, but we want to solve for a. So if you look at the kinematic equations right here on the right, which equation should we use? So you should notice here, four, equation four, equation two, and equation one all contain v, right? And we don't, we're not given v, so how are we supposed to solve that? So we can't use those. But if you look at three, right, we have delta x, we have v sub zero, and we have t. And a is the only variable left, meaning what we can do is use this equation in order to solve for the acceleration, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do. So the equation is delta x equals v sub zero times t plus one half a t squared, right? So all we have to do is just plug in our stuff. So we make sure the distance units are the same and the time unit. So these are both in seconds. This is centimeters, uh, which is fine. So we just got to make sure those line up and they do. So we're, we don't have to change anything there. But it's just going to be the delta x, which is minus 8, is equal to v sub 0, which is 12, times t, which is the time, which is 2 seconds, plus 1 half times a. What is a? We don't know. So that's what we're solving for. Times t squared. t is 2, so it's just 2 squared. We know 2 squared is just 4. 4 times 1 half is just going to be 2. So this is plus 2a. And then we do minus 8. 12 times 2 is going to be 24. And then what we can do is minus the 24 to the other side, right? Just solving for a. That's all we're doing. Minus 8 minus 24 is minus 32 equals 2a. If you go ahead and divide by 2, right, you're going to get a is equal to minus 16. Okay, and then what are the units? So the units for this are centimeters per second squared, or centimeters over second squared. So just like this, this is going to be uh, 
right? So minus 16 centimeters per second squared, that's going to be the acceleration, right? Because we use centimeters and then we use seconds, right? So it's just your distance over the time squared, right? So that's how you do the units. But yeah, so essentially in this problem, uh, it's minus 16 centimeters per second squared. Uh, but yeah, so this is your answer and hopefully you found this useful.